Hello everyone, today is September 25th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so first uh, I'd like to say Maria did not, uh, you know, contact me uh, within the last 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, another uh, subscriber to redeem uh, this free reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. And here I have the remainder uh, of all the participants um, who had commented on that particular video and I will choose a new winner, okay? So Spirit, please reveal to me what is the one person who could use a reading for me in this now moment, okay? Please reveal to me one person, a subscriber, who really needs a personal reading from me, okay, in this now moment. Katina Thomas, okay. Katina Thomas, uh, if you contact me at scorpiomoonintuition at gmail.com to redeem your reading, then you get to uh, receive this wonderful uh, reading from me, okay? A personal reading. So Katina Thomas, congratulations. Um, please send me an email. Now, if Katina Thomas does not contact me within the next 24 hours, then I will uh, pick a new winner, okay? And if your time has expired, um, then you just kind of miss out, okay, guys? So I want to pick someone who is really active and watching uh, my daily readings because I feel that that person really could use the guidance, okay? So Katina Thomas, um, please contact me um, to redeem your reading. Now, if Katina Thomas, again, does not uh, come forward within the next 24 hours before I produce the next video, then I will choose a new winner. Okay, so Katina, congratulations. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna reserve her name here and put the rest in my my bowl, <laughs> my jar. Okay. So uh, yesterday, also I had posed, you know. Um, some side notes uh, in the beginning of the reading, uh, and I know that it was very triggering um, for a lot of you um, when I had mentioned, uh, you know, if you want to come into union with your twin, you have to let go, okay? So I just want to reiterate, letting go does not mean forever, okay? Letting go means energetically detaching from your masculine, from outcome, because when you attach that creates pain and suffering, okay? And so you have to be okay with releasing your twin because that is love, that is unconditional love, okay? I'm pretty sure you still love your masculine, you know, even for my case. I love my masculine very much, you know, but I really want him to work on himself and heal himself before, you know, he would uh, come forward. And so I honestly feel he has been working on himself and I'm ready to receive him when he's ready, okay? So I don't want you guys to give up hope because honestly, uh, by the readings I'm channeling, 
okay there are going to be unions happening okay and also i've been picking up that there is going to be a change for divine feminines by the new moon which i feel is i think on the 28th or the 27th or 28th of this month so that's a few days away so divine feminines i don't want you to give up hope i just want you to release okay uh you know the attachment that you have towards your masculine but always you know keep space because the twin flame connection never dies okay you can't cut the cord okay their energy is always there it's just a matter of when is your masculine going to do their work so they can come into union and also for divine feminines you have to love yourself first this is the hardest thing that you could possibly do in your life okay it's not just about the physical it, it's in the ethers also okay because our energy expands outside of our body okay this is just a vessel that is why I do not pay attention to the physical there's also the spiritual aspect as well okay just know that I see energy fields okay I see auras around people around objects I can see energy guys okay energy is not just limited to to this okay to a physical form you know energy is everywhere okay and we're all interconnected so just know that okay so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the reading okay so you guys might have noticed that um instead of just a singly focused on the divine asking correctly i've been trying to integrate both divine masculines and divine feminines um just to kind of see like where different twins are at and their stage and their journey some of these messages on the daily could be resonating with you um but maybe some parts will and some won't okay but an underlying energy is there if you have been following me on this channel okay i really feel like for me the collective that I'm channeling are for those uh, who have karmic situations dealing with family, okay? I really feel that, you know, and if it's not family, um, I really feel like, you know, it's just an energy of a counterpart um, who is just going through their ascension, okay, where divine masculine is going through their spiritual growth, okay? So, so that's what I'm feeling. So, what is the current overall energy of this Divine Masculine Collective? And what is the current overall energy of the Divine Feminine Collective? Divine Masculine's Skunk Spirit Know Your Worth. And that's beautiful, guys. Huh? Isn't it cute? Um, you know, I really feel like Divine Masculines are in this energy of knowing what their, their true worth is, their self-worth. And they are learning, okay, about how to really love themselves first, okay? No matter what karmic situation that they're in, they're learning their, their worth, their true worth, okay? And that is really beautiful. Also, for Divine Feminines, Koi fish spirit. There is always enough. And this is really beautiful. You know, there is always enough divine feminines when it comes to you and, and your divine masculine. Okay. I feel like divine feminines are holding space for their divine masculines. Okay. But also for themselves. You know, divine feminines, you know, you are, you are enough. Okay. And I really feel like you're holding space for your masculine also. So, well, let me go ahead and pull some uh, energy oracles, okay, and see what additional energies I can pick up for this divine masculine, divine feminine. What energy can we see in regards to this divine masculine and feminine collective? Towards each other okay let me do that what is the energy of this divine masculine and divine feminine towards each other what 
what is the overall energy of this divine masculine divine feminine towards each other huh divine masculines walking away guys i can't get away from this card this masculine is learning you know what their worth is and they're walking away from the karmic situation okay this is a repeat you know energy that i'm channeling for this particular masculine so as i mentioned before divine feminines okay continue on with yourself learn to love yourself for first and your masculine okay they're going through their growth okay their spiritual growth and they're learning to know like what their worth is and they're going to walk away from people places and situations that is no longer fulfilling them okay that is what i'm seeing for divine feminines door to personal healing and happiness okay but it's in reverse so i really feel like again divine feminines you know you feel like you know perhaps you are not enough okay uh maybe you feel lack because yesterday i saw that your root chakra was in reverse and again today your door to personal healing and happiness is in reverse you're not really happy in this now moment and i really feel like divine feminines you're at a point where you just really don't know where this twin flame journey is leading you okay that is the feeling i feel like you know you're almost like giving up hope in the connection because your masculine has been taking way too long in dealing with their karmic situation okay that is what i'm seeing so far so let me go ahead and pull some moonology cards and see what is the underlying energy for this divine masculine and what is the underlying energy for this divine feminine okay what is the underlying energy please spirit what is the underlying energy Your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn okay so i really feel like this masculine has awakened okay they're really working on themselves okay building themselves up knowing what their their true worth is okay and they are walking away from people places and situations that is no longer serving them I feel like they're going to be rewarded by by doing you know the positive things you know what what their spiritual path is leading them to do and that is really beautiful for divine feminines nothing is yet set in stone mutable mean okay nothing is set in stone divine feminines i really feel like you really have to work on yourself okay if you feel like you have fallen back you know with your energy okay and staying high vibrational you really need to take this opportunity to stay high vibe just just keep on the path okay do not digress that is that is the feeling that i'm getting for this feminine collective so let me go ahead and pull some tarot okay and let's see when it comes to Wow. Okay. When it comes to this particular divine masculine, let's find out about their worth. What is it that they have realized about their worth? Okay. Let's find out. What has this masculine realized about their worth? manifestation this is beautiful this masculine knows okay that they have the power to change okay they know that they have the tools to manifest the things that they they need to to work with okay in order to get to the desired goal of this masculine 
okay they have reached a completion almost okay i really feel like this masculine is ready for this new beginning okay and that's what they're seeing right now also we have here seven of swords they know that they have been walking away from the issue okay but i feel like they're, they're changing and this is really beautiful because they have learned about what their worth is they're no longer playing this circus act okay with the karmics and they're putting themselves first okay that is what i'm feeling and they have made that decision is very clear to this divine masculine that they no longer want to fight or argue or compete with other individuals if anything they're fighting for themselves okay because now this masculine knows their worth and that's what i'm seeing i feel like this masculine is now you know speaking their truth okay if there's any karmics okay that are in the mix i feel like this masculine has spoke their peace towards their karmic situations to release themselves therefore manifesting them to break free from these karmic contracts okay or attachments or whatever the case may be also we have the sun you know ever since this masculine has realized their, their their true worth they are feeling really empowered and very good okay about you know their awareness of the situation they're taking matters into their own hands and moving forward and i feel like this is an, a renewed a sense of energy coming from this particular divine masculine okay I really feel like this this is a big change, okay? Coming up to the new moon, I feel like they're, they're ending those cycles, completing them, so they can release themselves, so they can have, like, new energy coming towards them, okay? I feel like this masculine is really tired of the old, tried and true, and they're ready. They're ready to break free from their karmics, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So... When it comes to walking away, what additional energies can I pick up on this particular masculine as they are walking away? What are they walking away from? Okay. What is this energy of this masculine walking away? And I see her number 54 and a 27, both are nines, okay? So, again, they're almost at that completion, okay, of doing this. I feel like it's in the works, okay? And they're, they're trying to end their karmic cycles, okay, guys? That's what I'm feeling because, ultimately, their hard work is paying off. We have seven of cups, okay? When it comes to walking away for this masculine, they're really unclear about the direction they should take. That is why this masculine is taking one last look, okay, at the karmic situation and trying to figure out what's next, okay? How are they going to, to do this? How are they going to work on this situation or the solution to walk away, okay? That is what I'm seeing also we have here the fool this masculine wants a brand new beginning okay they want to walk away from the karmic situation and they want to start off fresh okay like i see it so much like we have here the magician okay the sun and also the fool <clears throat> so three uh, major arcanas out of five cards that i pulled for this divine masculine this masculine wants a brand new start okay as they walk away from their past that is what i'm feeling and also we have here five of cups this masculine is wanting to walk away from their sadness and disappointment and the third party situations that they have involved themselves in this is beautiful guys this masculine has awakened okay they have evolved and they're taking matters into their own hands and they're making their wrongs right they're tired of suffering in their karma and their karmic lessons that is what i'm seeing for this masculine and that's really beautiful okay because ultimately their hard work is paying off, okay? I really see that this divine masculine is changing, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, 
Why additional energies can I pull for this particular masculine when it comes to their hard work? Okay, what is going to pay off? What can I expect from this masculine as they work hard on their goals? Okay, what can we expect from this masculine as they work hard and paying off? Okay, their particular goals. <clears throat> We have commitment, okay? This is a uh, traditional, you know, thoughts and beliefs of this masculine, okay? Their hard work is paying off, guys, okay? They, I feel like this is a higher uh, learning, okay? They're open up to their spiritual gifts. That is what I'm feeling. They're, they're, they're more open to what's in front of them in their 3D life, okay? That is what I'm feeling for this masculine. Also, wow, we have here the wheel. They have completed their karmic cycle, okay? That wheel is turned. Their hard work is paying off. They have learned their karmic lessons, guys. This is beautiful. So many major arcanas that, are, that I'm pulling for this masculine. There's a lot of change, okay? This is definite when it comes to this masculine. When they put in the work to walk away from the karmics and knowing what their, their true worth is, they're going to be blessed. This masculine sees it. Okay, they know this because now they're more spiritual. Okay, they have integrated their spirituality into their physical body. Okay, and their awareness, and that's a beautiful thing. And finally, we have your Knight of Pentacles, guys. I really feel like now that this masculine has ascended and have removed at their karma or their karmic lessons, this masculine is ready to move forward towards their feminine. Why? Because they know it's been taking them a long time to learn their karma, to go through it, okay? And finally, you know, approach their feminine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And that's really beautiful. My. <laughs> All right. So, for divine feminines, when it comes to koi fish spirit, there is always enough, okay? What energies can I pull in addition for this Divine Feminine about there is always enough? What is there enough of? Okay. And you also, Divine Feminine, have a number 36, which is a 9. Okay. So I really feel like, you know, you're, you're, you've attained um, a certain level of fulfillment in your journey. And you're closing out those cycles it's completion okay you're almost at a completion it's time to release things that, that are no longer serving you so that new energies can come forward okay oh we have here ten of cups oh my goodness there is enough you know, emotional fulfillment for this Divine Feminine. And honestly, I really feel like it's because this Feminine has learned self-love. Okay? That is what I'm feeling. You know, there is always enough of love to go around for the world, you know? And honestly, I feel like you're holding space for your Divine Masculine to return if you guys are in separation. But even if you guys are together, I feel like there's going to be a renewed sense of love in the connection. Okay? This feels really good. This is, you know, like I said, within the family uh, environment or dynamic. Okay? That's, That's what I'm feeling. feeling. Also, also, feminines, you have gained the strength, the courage, okay? And also wisdom of this, you know, twin flame journey, okay? There is always enough, you know, for you to really work on yourself, even if you have improved yourself to a certain, you know, degree. I feel like, you know, there's always room for improvement for this feminine, okay? You are lucky, Divine Feminines. That is what I'm feeling with this fish, you know? I feel like there is good luck coming your way. You just have to persevere and practice patience and self-love, okay? Because this masculine has finally learned their self-worth and they're working on their situation, okay? Just know that you will be blessed, okay? That is why I'm feeling Divine Feminines. You're going to be receiving this Ten of Cups, okay? And I feel like 
you know, it's within yourself, but also with your divine masculine. And finally, we have your queen of wands, okay? You are very fiery, very independent, okay? And, you know, you... You take matters into your own hands, okay? You are enough, and you feel really good, okay, about your your position. That is what I'm feeling. You have, like, you know, this knowing that all will work out, okay? In the end, everything will work out in divine timing. That is what I'm feeling. You know that there's going to be a change coming to you that is for the positive divine feminines, okay? That is what I'm seeing, and that's really beautiful, you know, you have a lot of courage, you have a lot of willpower and strength to to be this divine empress, okay? To be the light, the guiding light for your divine masculine. Your masculine sees the light, okay? And they're 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 going for it, okay? They're breaking free from any kind of like uh, sneaky and deceptive behaviors of the past and they want to manifest a change, a positive change, okay? That is what I'm seeing so far. So, Divine Feminines, okay, when it comes to your personal healing and happiness, what energies, okay, is happening with you, Divine Feminines, when it comes to this, okay? This is a number 34, but it's in reverse, so I feel like you kind of stopped looking at your, just working on a situation, and guys, it's 111. I've been seeing 11, 11 consecutively, like for the past week, guys. And the other day, I seen a hummingbird, okay, and a white butterfly, okay. Like, I don't know, the synchronicities are getting stronger and stronger for me, you know. I really hope that my masculine reaches out. <laughs> you know, I've been very patient for my masculine, and I feel him every day, and... You know, I just want him to be happy. I, I, I want him to come back, you know, with his truth, you know, more than anything. And he has no idea how much love I have for him. He's so lucky. <laughs> All right. So, Divine Feminines, oh my goodness. When it comes to your, your personal, what is it, the door to personal healing and happiness, okay, I feel that it's about, like, something that is secure and stable. This could be your home. This could be a marriage, okay, but it's in reverse, and I really feel like, you know, you're a little unsure about, like, the stability in your home, okay you're not really happy and i also feel like this could be because you're missing your divine masculine they're not in your physical presence okay you possibly have been waiting for a long time for your masculine's return but i really feel that you are enough divine feminines okay you have worked so hard on yourself you are deserving of love okay that is what I'm feeling. So I really feel that, you know, Divine Five Minutes, you really need to get out of this negative thinking. Okay? And you really need to heal yourself and be happy. Okay? Just be happy. Live your life day to day. Okay? That is what I'm feeling. And also, oh my goodness. It's about maybe a third party situation about betrayal. Okay? And being broken hearted. Okay? You know, feminines, I know that, you know, this has been a rough journey for you, you know, but we have to learn, you know, from our experiences, okay, and, you know, and, and just change. We need to change and transmute those energies, <clears throat> and I really feel that you will receive your ten of cups, okay? You really have to stay in your power, divine feminines, okay? And persevere through this energy. I understand this. This is a really rough time for feminines, you know? Uh, especially if you have been waiting very long for your masculine's return, okay? I really feel like, you know, your, your healing and happiness has been, like, reverted, okay? You really need to change this 
and really love yourself first. I keep saying this, Divine Feminines, love yourself first, okay? You come first. Your, your personal healing and happiness comes first. You have to do it. Your mask, that's not your masculine's job, okay? You have to do this. You have to learn this. This is one of the hardest lessons to learn in a twin flame journey. Some people will say, well, I have worked on myself. I love myself. You know, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> but if your masculine comes back in the mix and you're feeling a little in insecure about the return, not knowing if your masculine has changed or not, then, and, and you have like some fear, worry, or doubt, that is not love. Okay. You have to love yourself. Okay. <laughs> so you have to really like get this imprinted in your mind you have to program this in your mind every day when you wake up look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself i love you you're so gorgeous how is your day you know today's going to be a beautiful day you know and and just go with that okay like you really have to feel you can't fake it okay and, and the person upstairs knows, okay? You can't fake that, okay? You have to be sincere and genuine within yourself. This is like inner healing, okay? You really have to work on that, feminines. And also, we have here uh, Ace of Pentacles, okay? This is about a brand new offer in the physical, okay? Something that is solid and stable in the 3D. And I really feel like, you know... Because you have not received this offer from your masculine, okay? You're not happy, okay? That is what I'm feeling. But, you know, you really need to change that mindset, guys, okay? I really feel like, you know, feminines, you know, you're still waiting for your masculine's return, okay? You know, that's why you're causing yourself this pain and suffering. You have to be okay with where things are at in your present physical life okay be happy transmute those energies and yeah waiting you know for for you know you to be this empress okay you have to work up so i see here that there is always enough, okay? This is not an empress. This is just a queen, and it's the queen of wands, which is just one of the queens. You really need to work up to this level, Divine Feminines, okay? To be the empress, okay? To be all queens. So that's what I'm seeing. You have to change this energy. That is what I'm seeing. So nothing is yet set in stone, Divine Feminines, okay? That is what I'm seeing. This energy is temporary. You're just going through a funk right now, okay? So, let me see. What kind of energies can I pull when it comes to this Divine Feminine, okay? Where nothing is yet set in stone. Let me see if I can get some additional guidance for Divine Feminines. Where nothing is yet set in stone. Yes, because why? We have your Knight of Cups. Your masculine is coming, okay? They're going to return and give you this offer of love, okay? They still hold space in their heart, and I feel like this masculine is about ready to offer this towards their feminine. Guys, this masculine is coming on their horse, okay? These are knights. They take action, okay? Your masculine... Okay, after they have worked on their karma and releasing, you know, their karmic attachments, they are going to give you a higher level commitment, okay? And they're coming. I see that they're coming and they're going to come and give this offer of love to their feminines. Nothing is yet set in stone, okay? You have to believe that your masculine is really working on themselves, but also divine feminines. I feel like you still have work to do okay i seriously see it okay also we have your eight of pentacles continue to work on yourself feminines okay just because you don't see your masculine knocking on your front door okay or offering you like a long life you know commitment with marriage and all this and that continue to work on yourself because 
both counterparts are energetically working, okay, so that you guys can come into union, okay? I see it. It's a progression. Everything is happening in divine timing. So you have to really focus on yourself. Your masculine has to focus on themselves. That is why there is the separation. But just know, I really see that there is going to be a union energy coming soon for this collective, okay? I definitely see it. So just hold space for your masculine, but continue to work on yourself. Release attachment, divine feminines, okay? I guess that's a better way of, you know, wording it, of letting go. Release attachment to outcome, okay? That is the main focus. All right. Also, we have here a king of swords, okay? I really feel like this masculine may approach their feminines and come with their truth okay there could be some communication coming through for this divine feminine this communication might be a little you know cut off you know not as emotional but i see that they're coming in with their emotions okay guys i feel like they're gonna come in with their their love offer they have been working on it okay and they're gonna communicate it to you and um they have been really stressed out about this communication, guys, okay? They really have. That is why it's taking them a little bit of time. Because they know that after going through their karmic situation, it's really hard for this masculine to jump out of that situation and jump into the situation with their feminine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So they're really stressed out about this communication. What did I say? This masculine definitely wants to set the record straight with their feminines, okay? I definitely see that. And they want a passionate new beginning, okay, guys? So nothing is yet set in stone, Divine Feminines. That is what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and pull some cards, okay? And see what is the current situation or circumstance revolving around this divine masculine okay what is the current situation or circumstance revolving at this divine masculine you know i see that you know this masculine is coming but they have to end their karma first okay guys you know it's going to be different for you know as far as the timing is for each uh, divine masculine but collectively i see that this is what's happening okay with this collective divine feminines you know i really feel like you know you're tired you're growing wary some of you guys are wanting to give up on the connection you know i would say you don't know, hang in there persevere save space for your masculine just focus on yourself okay don't try to jump into another relationship okay like if you have to love yourself first before you do that at least do that much first okay if you've really truly worked on yourself and your masculine has not returned then yes okay see what your options are you know that's what i'm feeling but like i said in yesterday's reading if you're doing it because you're sad and lonely and you're missing someone to call up on that is not the time to be looking for someone okay any soulmate connection that you choose is temporary just know that it, it they're there for a lesson okay and it's for like a season or for a short period of time okay so like if if you're attracting that into your reality you know sometimes you know you just need another little lesson before your mask can return so that is just my perspective on that okay so divine masculines they're working on their abundance okay you know i really feel like this masculine is really working okay and i feel like good luck is coming for this masculine after they have worked on themselves and released themselves by walking away they're gonna come in with their abundance all right also we have creativity this is beautiful this masculine is really being creative in their projects or in their workplace or even with themselves and possibly with their feminine okay i really feel like you know 
once this masculine's energy has shifted or changed and put that focus more on themselves, they are creating this, okay? They are manifesting abundance and change, creativity, okay? Passion, desire, okay? And the willpower and courage to do that change, okay? That is when your abundance comes through. It's not when you're working for someone else or making someone else happy. It's when they work as a uh, focus on themselves. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Also, huh? guess what? We have happy ending. <laughs> now guys, you know, I'm Asian and you know, <laughs> happy ending. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't know where this masculine's getting their happy ending, but I feel like overall once this masculine has truly walked, worked on themselves they're going to be getting a happy ending okay guys you know like this is completion this is forgiveness this is like working to help other people within their community and by them you know uh like extending their their pure essence and really helping other people around them and for themselves from a genuine perspective not really wanting to receive anything in return this is, you know, how this masculine is receiving or achieving their abundance, okay? And also, oh, look at this. We have self-love. This masculine gets it. I am so proud of this masculine. This divine masculine collective has learned self-love. The first card that shows up is that know your worth, skunk spirit, okay? whatever like scent that they're spraying out warning off all the karmics because you know they can't stand the stink or whatever the case may be you know they're, they're clearing the way okay to remove themselves from toxic situations people places and things okay now a karmic situation doesn't have to be a person it could be a job it could be something um that is physical okay like a, a location or you know a thing you know it doesn't matter whatever their karmic situation is they have learned self-love okay that is what I'm seeing they're putting that focus and attention on themselves okay and releasing themselves from things that are no longer serving this masculine okay they're walking away from the karmics guys this is confirmation and and they have learned self-love okay this is beautiful so i really feel like this divine masculine collective has really put in their work okay so they can prime themselves up and get ready to be in union with their feminine guys okay so feminines nothing is yet set in stone okay don't give up that is what spirit is telling me do not give up on your masculine you know i really feel that you know they're on their way okay so there's going to be communication coming towards this feminine. That is what I'm seeing. Okay. So divine feminines. Let me see. What energies that are going to come through for you divine feminines. Okay. What is the energy of this divine feminine? Okay. What is currently being activated by this feminine in this now moment? You know, I really feel like this masculine is really working on themselves. Like, they deserve the abundance if they really put in the work, okay, on themselves. And here we have health. You know, I, I seen this at the end of yesterday's reading. Divine feminines, I feel like, okay, your health is depreciating, okay? Like, there is always enough, okay? There is always enough. You know, this could be, you know, self-worth, self-love, okay? Well, you have been working on yourself for so long, you don't know if you're really working on yourself, okay? And I feel like it's taking a toll on your mental health and your physical health, okay? Also, your door to personal healing and happiness is in reverse. You really need to focus on yourself, Divine Feminines, okay? That is what I'm seeing. You know, I know that this journey is, is long and hard and it really tries on your patience. But, you know, health is really important for this Divine Feminine, okay? Really work on it. Also, we have here music. And this is beautiful. Like, 
put some music on to change the mood, Divine Feminines. You know, and if you play music, go ahead and play, okay? If you sing, sing, okay? If you dance, dance. You know, I feel like this is not totally limited to music. It's whatever that's creative. Because I see that it is mirroring this Divine Masculine. They are embodying their creativity, okay? And I feel like Divine Feminines, you are marrying your Divine Masculine. As a matter of fact, over the weekend, I was, uh, I went to the Guitar Center, and I'm thinking about taking guitar lessons, guys. You know, um, it's a 30-minute session each week, you know, for the whole month. And uh, the only thing is I have to purchase a new guitar. But back in my my teenage years, I always want to play guitar. Uh, that was always, you know, one of the things I've I absolutely wanted to learn. Um, you know, and huh, I just like want to like jam on a guitar and hook it up to an amp and like you know just play music and sing and you know and just like feel like the vibrations coming from you know uh, the instruments but also through my voice you know and, and be at one with myself it's like a zen thing right so play some music <laughs> that's what i'm feeling all right next we have adventure divine balance i really feel like you know you need to go on some sort of adventure okay this could be adventure on your own okay or you know like just going on an adventure with friends okay whatever it is like i feel like you need to get out you know and and go somewhere okay try something new go out of your comfort zone i really feel like you really need to focus on your mental and physical health and divine feminines like i feel like you know you're tired you're weary you know um if you're not with your masculine you know, I really feel like you need to change your energy, okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. This masculine is finally getting it, okay? They've got it. I see it. They've, they've actually have passed the test. They've learned their karmic lessons, and they're ready to move forward. They're walking away from the karmic situation, okay? Divine Feminines, I feel like you've waited for so long. You don't know if your masculine is coming. You haven't heard from them. And you just don't know what the future leads, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting. But... You need to focus on yourself, feminines. I feel like, you know, you kind of fell backwards a little bit, okay? And also, again, we have nature. Exactly. You really need to go out in nature. And here we have here number 74, which is an 11. Guys, I went to go take my son to the doctor's this morning, and the room number was 11. I kid you not. <laughs> I had so many synchronicities today, and I left the house at 11.11. So, you know, it's just so weird, guys. Like, I'm seeing 11.11 more frequent, uh, frequently in the past, like, week. I've been seeing it so much. That and 2.2 two or 2.2.2, 3.3.3, 4.4.4. Two, two, three, three, four, four, four. Like, it's been a progression, you know. This morning I saw 10.10. And uh, last night I saw 1212, you know, so definitely I feel like, you know, the, the synchronicities of the numbers are coming back to me, you know, because before I wasn't seeing them, you know, but lately in the past week, I've been seeing it daily. Okay, guys, so I definitely feel like there is a shift. There is like the sense of energy of movement that is, uh, you know, stimulating between this uh, masculine feminine collective. Divine masculines are stepping up and they're releasing their karma, okay? I definitely see it today, you know? It's coming in strong. And then while the masculines are ascending, divine feminines, I feel like you're descending a little bit. Please focus on your health. Go out in nature. Go on an adventure, you know? Like, it can be with yourself. It could be with friends, you know, whoever, you know? Like, do that. That's what I'm seeing, okay? Oh, focus on your heart chakra also. Focus on your heart, your throat chakra, and dance. Put on some music today. Put on some slow jams, you know? Like yesterday, you know, when my phone went off, you know, like my ringtone is Miguel, and one of the um, subscribers have picked up on that. I was like, yeah, Miguel is the man. He's singing my song. <laughs> All right. So, 
Well, let me go ahead and see. How does this Divine Masculine currently feel about their feminine? Okay, guys. How is this masculine feeling? Because now that I see that they've worked on themselves and abundance is coming through and their creativity is on fire, they've, they're learning self-love, I feel like, you know, this masculine is ready to let go of their past and they want a fresh new energy. Like this masculine is doing the work to remove those obstacles, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, how are they feeling towards their feminine, right? <laughs> Let's find out. How is this masculine feeling about their feminine? Forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Exactly. That is what I'm feeling. You know, this masculine I see is releasing their past, okay? You know, they're walking away from the karmic situation. It is time for them to to go on a new journey okay that is what i'm saying they're manifesting this change of being sneaky and deceptive they see the light okay and they're forgiving and learning from the situation and cir circumstance that is their karma and as they release those old energies and forgiving themselves and learning from this uh, situation they're, they're allowing more love back into your life okay divine feminines your masculine is slowly opening up themselves to love love with self first and love towards their feminine okay that is what i'm seeing that's beautiful and then here we have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you what i'm feeling is that for this divine masculine okay they're pay attention they're paying attention to like those red flags any kind of karmic situations that are, that are popping up in this masculine's life they can now see with clarity okay they're laser focused now guys okay i feel like if they have any kind of addictions attachments codependencies they're very clear about the the intentions of their karmics okay but if they have like any kind of things that they need to battle within themselves they're becoming more clear and they're now paying attention to those red flags before you know, it, it was a green flag, you know, for the masculines, but now they see those red flags, okay? And now that they have learned to love themselves first, they can, they can spot this out more clearly now, okay? And that's what I'm feeling. So, Divine Feminines, I really feel like your masculine has really worked on themselves, okay? That is what I'm seeing. So, Divine Feminines, how are you feeling towards your masculine, okay? How are you feeling towards your Divine Masculine? How are you feeling, Divine Feminines? Huh. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, there are. And like I said, Here's, here's my masculine showing up with his romantic feelings. <laughs> you know, I really feel like Divine Feminines, no matter what, you will always love your Divine Masculine, okay? I know you miss them, but you really have to heal yourself first. Your masculine has gone through a breakthrough moment, okay? That is what I'm feeling with your masculine. They get it now, and they, they're, they're working on themselves by loving themselves first. They're manifesting change into their life abundance okay creativity prosperity you know they're finally feeling good after working on themselves you should be proud of your divine masculines by by doing the work okay this isn't easy okay especially if your masculine has been a certain way in the past divine feminines you know you really need to work on yourself okay i see it so much in this reading you know but that's okay i know I know you can do it, okay? I really do, okay? Also, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So if you have been blocking yourself from the connection, Divine Feminines, from your masculine, it is safe for you to love, okay? That is what I'm saying. Open your heart. You know, go out in nature. 
you know, treat yourself, you know, to like a manicure or a pedicure or go get a haircut or, you know, buy something that, that makes you feel good, okay? Exercise, eat healthy, okay? Um, that is what I'm saying because you are enough, okay? Don't worry about your masculine coming back or catering to your needs. That is all going to come when both counterparts love themselves first. So while Divine Masculines have got, gotten the message and it's very clear to them that they need to work on themselves and their self-love and their self-worth, you should feel the same too, Divine Feminines. You are enough, okay? That is what I'm feeling. So, you know, if you have regressed, get back up and feel empowered divine feminines okay that that is what i'm here for i'm here to cheer you on okay make sure you're on that that right path okay do not fall backwards okay you have worked so hard on yourself you should be strong enough to persevere through this okay you have gone through worse situations okay like this this is a cakewalk okay you are fully equipped to be this divine empress okay so stand in your power, Divine Feminines. That is what I'm seeing. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull a card, okay? And see what is it that this masculine needs to surrender to, okay? And what does the feminine need to surrender to? What does this Divine Masculine need to surrender to? And what does this feminine need to surrender to? Divine Masculine, surrender your belief in scarcity. Exactly. I see that they're working on their abundance, okay? And um, the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. You know, I really feel that because I saw here, when it comes to this masculine... Where is it? Here I go again. Um, it was the... Oh. Yeah. I believe it was the hard work that is paying off. Okay. When they really work on themselves, they're going to get their abundance. They're going to be rewarded, okay? Because I see this masculine, okay, is manifesting, okay? They're manifesting to get out of this sneaky, you know, deceptive behavior. <clears throat> and they see the light. Sorry, guys. They see the light now to move forward, to get out of this energy. This masculine is really working on this now as we speak, Divine Fountains, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And... You know, if they felt like they were in scarcity, this is their overall focus. It is their abundance, okay? Working on their financial freedom and stability. And they're going to do it through their creativity. Okay, oh, well, their creativity, not the happy ending, okay, guys? <laughs> Once they embody this creativity, there is going to be a happy ending for this masculine, okay? They're truly going to be fulfilled and satisfied by putting in the hard work, okay? And they did it through self-love, okay? So Divine Masculines, surrender your belief in scarcity. You, you have abundance, okay? Just know that. But you really have to put in the work, okay? And really work on yourself, okay? Not for anyone else, but for you, okay? That is how you get out. Divine Feminines, surrender your attachment to results. <laughs> I love it when spirit steps in, okay? The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results, okay? Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. What did I say? I've been saying this from yesterday's reading up until today, Divine Feminines. You know, maybe letting go is a harsh word, okay? And But surrendering your attachment, okay? Attachment leads to, like, you know, 
negativity, okay? Like, you will be suffering. You won't be feeling good, okay? It brings you pain and suffering. So you have to surrender your attachment to results. That is why I say, if you want true union with your masculine, you have to let go because you love your masculine unconditionally, okay? That is what I mean by yesterday's reading. You have to let go because you love them anyways, no matter, you know, how, how it happens, okay? If you release, your masculine is going to be working on themselves. They are being divinely guided because you are their twin. You guys will eventually come together, okay? But it really depends on how hard is this masculine going to work. And in this particular collective that I'm channeling, this masculine is putting in the work, okay, guys? So just know that. But Divine Feminines, you can't just fall off the bandwagon, okay? You have to put in the work yourself. Focus on yourself. Continue to do the work, okay? You can't just do it for like a week and quit, okay? You have to do it every day, okay? Surrender your attachment to results, okay, Feminines? That is what I'm seeing, so... I really hope you enjoyed this reading today. I hope it was really helpful to all of you. Um, thank you again for all your subscribes, your likes, your shares, and your comments. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And um, I believe there was a subscriber. Uh, his name is Gerd. Um, I don't know if you're from Sweden or Switzerland, um, somewhere in Europe. Um, I tried to respond back to your email, but the email didn't go through. But to answer your question, you can book a reading with me on my website, okay? Just go to www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.